Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here's a look at the top stories we are following. A school threat forced the entire Bridgeport Spalding School District to go into secure mode. Bridgeport Township Police tell TV5 the bomb threat, which was not credible, was made by a student at Atkins Element, uh, Middle School, rather, who is now being held in a juvenile facility. Stick with TV5 both on air and online for updates. A Flint man accused of sexually assaulting a woman and killing her dog Easter morning is on the run. The Genesee County Sheriff is warning not to approach DeQuante Johnson, but to immediately call 911. Investigators say Johnson held his girlfriend hostage, sexually assaulted her, and when she escaped his home out the window with her dog, he chased them down, assaulted the woman again, and shot her dog. Johnson is wanted on 11 criminal charges tied to the incident. Again, if you see him, please call 911. And a judge ruled Ethan Crumbly will remain in an Oakland County jail. This came during a court appearance this morning. The teen is accused of killing four and injuring seven others during the Oxford school shooting. A tentative trial date has been set for September 6th. Stick with us for complete coverage. All right, here's meteorologist John Gross checking the latest in your forecast. Thank you, Blake. We got your forecast coming your way for Thursday after some rain this morning. Looks like we finally dry things out for the afternoon. Check out temperatures today. Not too bad. A little bit warmer from where we got to yesterday. Upper 50s look good further north of the Saginaw Bay. I think many locations in the lower 60s by later on this afternoon. Decreasing clouds. I think we all get some sunshine before the day is done and over with. But one thing we do have to track for you is going to be the winds today. It's not going to be as strong as previous wind events that we've had, but still enough to notice it. If you're going to be out and about for today into the afternoon, especially there's a look at when those winds do look to peak later into this afternoon, close five, six o'clock could be seeing numbers close to 30 plus miles per hour. The good news is it doesn't last too long. It looks like winds finally starting to subside quickly later into the evening and overnight into early Friday morning. The next seven, it's Earth Day tomorrow and most of the day trends dry. It's not until the later evening overnight period, early Saturday morning. Looks to be the next best time frame for some showers. Could even have a few thunderstorms in the mix. We're very warm for the weekend. Check it out. That still holds steady Saturday, Sunday in the 70s. 60s look good by Monday. Could have some more rain Sunday afternoon into Monday. And enjoy the warm temperatures for the weekend because we're back in the 40s by next week. In the first four and five weather center, I'm meteorologist John Gross. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.